Hey there guys, welcome back to another Monster Super League video, it's your boy Odin, and today we're going to be doing another Astromon review. Uh, so Seastar, otherwise known as Kraken, got her Super Evolution form this week, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at her uh, RGB set, Light and Dark types, and where you guys uh, can use them, and who I think you guys should prioritize on building. Um, so without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started with the uh, fire type and the fire type is an attacker type with uh, 22,700 HP, 3000 attack, 1850 defense and about 1500 recovery. Uh, for a 3 star mon, she actually has really high attack and with her super evil coming out here, uh, you know, she gained a pretty decent boost. So definitely a good mon to build if you're looking to have a uh, decent arena and CVC attacker. Um, for those of you guys that maybe not, don't have Evo 3 monsters already and you're, or maybe you're perhaps a new player, definitely a good mon to have for uh, uh, you know things like Golems and the Starstone Dungeon as well, although there are other mons that you can use instead of her. Uh, definitely a good monster to have for CVC though and arena as well. Her 3 star skill is Predator, which increases damage dealt by 30%, and her 5 star skill is 80% uh, chance to stun the enemy for one turn. Uh, her critical or her leader skill is a critical hit boost, uh, and increases critical hit rate by 13 to 18%. Uh, that means that you will need a level 6 variant uh, to get that 18%, and you want to take advantage of that 18% uh, more than anything else. So. Uh, Definitely be on the lookout for the six level six uh, variant uh, skill there for her. Um, all in all, mainly uh, her uses are going to be in the uh, wood dungeons. Uh, the wood uh, colossus, I guess, could be pretty usable as well. Although the uh, five star skill is not going to be that great for that event. Um, so it's up to you guys if you guys want to really build her. Her Super Evo is pretty good though, um, I have seen a few people using her in uh, Arena already, so all in all pretty good. The way that I would build her guys is probably going to be HP attack crit rate or attack attack crit rate on a Ruin, Valor, or Intuition set. Uh, you can put her on a Pugilist set if you're going to be using her for Arena or in CVC, uh, but if you use Pugilist set, remember guys, high crit substats is what you'll need. Um, and uh, you want to do maybe attack attack uh, crit rate on a pugilist set um, But that's it for the fire type guys Let me know where you guys will use her or where you guys use her and how you guys built her uh, Definitely good input for me to uh, you know learn as well uh, Mainly my reviews are gonna be just for you guys to kind of you know take a look at and see where I See them being used, but you know that doesn't mean that you know where I tell you guys to use her is the only place you can use her so definitely leave us comment down in the section below and let me know where you guys use them as you use them and which one uh, is your favorite and things like that uh, so moving on to the water one the water one is an attacker type again with uh, 24,350 HP uh, 2500 attack uh, 2000 defense and about 1700 recovery for an attacker type she is uh, a normal for what you'd expect out of a three star uh, she comes at about 2,500 attacks, so it's about 500 attack less than the fire type. Um, but um, all in all, I guess it's alright. I wish it was higher though because her 3 star skill and the 5 star skill are both sap. The 3 star skill is a 50% chance to inflict uh, sap damage for 2 turns and that's 2 types of saps. So that's 2 saps uh, on the 3 star skill if it lands. The 5 star skill is a 60% chance to inflict the enemy with sap damage for 2 turns. So the 5 star skill looks like it's a 1 sap, whereas the 3 star skill is a 2 sap. So you definitely want to fully uh, skill book her. Uh, definitely good for golems B10 if you don't have any uh, light mons with sap or if you want to just kind of get the boss down real quick. Uh, the way that I would build her is probably attack attack crit rate on a valor set uh, just to give her that little extra boost from the attack. Um, but you can put her on a attack attack crit rate on a uh, ruin set or intuition set as well. Uh, just make sure that you have really high uh, sub stats, uh, like attack sub stats, um, and that you get her to at least 80% chance to uh, crit. 
Uh, which I guess should be pretty doable. I believe she comes with an extra 10% chance to crit anyways. And if you have a leader skill, definitely good for uh, Golem's B10. Uh, definitely usable in the Starstone dungeon as well. Um, if you guys are looking for uh, a uh, sap water type mon to use. Um, although I would say that the water Miho is probably a little bit better than her. Uh, for Golem's B10 as well as the Starstone Dungeon. If you're a new player, uh, prioritize the uh, Water Miho instead of the Kraken uh, for Golem's or Starstone Dungeons. But uh, all in all, she does look pretty good. Uh, aesthetically, she's uh, uh, you know not too bad. Uh, but that's it for me for pretty much where I would see her being used. Uh, you know, Sap unfortunately is kind of just uh, stuck on the dungeons for now. Um, it is usable in arenas but not highly effective uh, you know unless you're using them conjunctively with like a uh, stunner or maybe somebody who um, is maybe healing at the same time um, so up to you guys uh, whether or not you guys want to build up the water one with the super, super evo though the water one is actually um, pretty okay fairly decent good mod to build I guess if you can super evolve her the wood one here is a balance type with uh, 28,700 HP, uh, almost 2,000 attack, 2,100 defense, and 1,700 recovery. Again, uh, the wood one is actually pretty good. It has 80% chance to thirst on a 3 star skill for, let's see, it looks like it's 20% uh, thirst on an 80% chance for one turn. Uh, not bad, not too bad. But uh, there are better mods that you can use instead of her. The 5 star skill is defense down. Grants a 60% chance, chance to reduce the enemy's defense for 2 turns. Um, I would say these two skills are kind of okay together. There's not much synergy though. Um, as far as like the attack animation. Maybe you want to put her with a uh, wood Indra. Uh, I think that that combination would actually work okay as far as their... Uh, you know, active skills working together. Uh, so all in all, pretty decent, I guess, if you plan on building her to use for CBC or Arena. But uh, there are better mon there are better mods that you can use instead of her for uh, the uh, set Arena as well. So that's it for the uh, wood one. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the light one. And uh, the light one is, in my opinion, the second best out of uh, the bunch. And uh, I would say that if you're going to be building, you know, either the light one or the dark one, the light one is going to fall a little bit more on the back burner. The light one is a tank type uh, with uh, 38,200 HP, 2,000 attack, about 2,000 defense, and about 2,400 recovery. Uh, her recovery is actually a little bit too high for a tank type. I wish that would kind of have fallen into a defense uh, substat or something like that a little bit better. Uh, just to kind of help her out with her survivability her three star skill is shock uh, critical hits shock the enemy for two turns which means she is critical reliant um, unfortunately that's a bit of a drawback uh, because she is a tank type and tank types generally you want to just you know have them have full-on defensive uh, you know stats uh, so you're going to be giving up one of the stat slots if you're going to go for that 100% chance to crit. Uh, the 5 star skill is attack down. Again, critical hit reliant. It is for 2 turns. But uh, again, I'm not entirely sure if you guys are planning to uh, you know, use her. Especially with those 2 skills. I I'm just really not liking those at all. Um, the shock is useful if you use her on a defense team as well as an attack team. But if you use her on defense, be aware that, you know, mo most of the times you're going to get hit first. So if anybody's targeting your C-Star, she's going to die. So unless you build her with some really high resistance sets, um, uh, maybe on a conviction set with HP, HP crit rate or HP attack crit rate, you know, she may get killed on the first turn. Uh, so if you're gonna use her you could probably use her as a more of like a target mon, you know, where the enemy or your opponent will target her over, over your other Astromon. Um, but all in all, I would say stay away from her if you're going to use her on defense. Uh, you could use her on an uh, offensive team as well, though. Uh, so if you're going to use her on an offensive team, it's actually not bad. Two-turn two shock is 
is not bad because shock also reduces the enemy's defense as well so uh, not too bad for an attacker type um, if you're missing mons and you're a new player I would say go ahead and build her just for arenas or CVC uh, the critical hit there kind of sucks because it's reliant on crit uh, for the shock, but, you know, can't always get what you want, especially with three and... Well, I shouldn't say she's a three-star mon because technically the light one is a four-star mon, so uh, up to you guys if you guys want to build her. The uh, light one is actually pretty decent uh, after Super Evo. She did gain like a 4,000 HP bonus uh, from Super Evo, so definitely usable, I guess. And let's see, where is the dark one here? And I did super evo my uh, dark one just recently. Um, and the dark one is a defender type. Uh, she's arguably the best out of the uh, sea stars or krakens. Uh, she is uh, coming in with 31,400 HP, 2,000 attack, uh, about 3,250 uh, defense, and around 2,100 recovery. So pretty good, I'd say, for a defender type. Uh, she has really high defense, uh, okay attack, and um, I, I guess okay recovery as well. Uh, the way that I would build the dark one is going to be on a triple defense set, maybe on a pugilist or a ruin set. Um, I'd say that uh, maybe the protection set is arguably a third uh, best gem set for her, but uh, you know if you're going to be using her in arena or in CVC. Um, you know, it depends on how much crit rate you have on your substats in order for the uh, protection gem set to actually fully work. Um, because three star skill and five star skill with defense aggression uh, means you're gonna have to have defense on all three slots unless you're giving one of them up for a critical hit chance. And since she is a dark type, she's gonna be getting that extra critical hit damage boost anyways. So, you know, it's up to you guys if you want to build her uh, crit rate, defense, defense on a ruin set. But more than likely, you're going to be using her on a triple defense on a pugilist set or a um, protection set or conviction set um, with really high crit rate substats. If you're not, you know, taking advantage of her crit, you know, she's not going to be doing too much damage, even though she is a full on HP uh, or a defense aggressor. Um, and that's it for the dark one guys uh, the way that uh, again I would build her is probably going to be uh, defense 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 on a um, high crit rate substat uh, gem set probably uh, I don't want to say ruin I would actually put her on a pugilist set um, but that's just me preference you know it's up to you guys what you guys want to use on her so let's just take a quick look at the super evil uh, the um, Kraken actually has some pretty decently good looking models. Uh, here is the uh, Ocean Queen Sea Star model. And here is the Ocean Queen Kraken model. So she is pretty uh, big uh, for the screen. So she does kind of look pretty good. Aesthetically, definitely a good mod to have. And from the collector standpoint, definitely. Uh, pretty nice to build to at least just have sitting in your box if you're not planning on using her all the time um, but that's it for me guys uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below uh, did you guys build uh, your sea star to super evo or did you guys uh, kind of give up on her and move on to the next one um, for me I'm not entirely sure where I would use her but I went ahead and built her anyways uh, and I only kind of built her mainly just for CBC and I put mine on a triple protection set uh, with um, triple defense. And I'm pretty sure that I need some more crit rate on her because she's only got a 40%, 44% chance to crit and 25% chance to resist. I need to work on those gems, but uh, you know that's all I got for now. Uh, the attack, I'm almost at 12,000 defense. Um, so it's actually translated to a pretty decent amount of attack, I guess. Um, but uh, that's just you know what I went with I definitely have to work on the trinkets as well though uh, but all in all she is uh, pretty nice so I'm definitely glad that she came out I know a lot of people were waiting for her super evil for a very very long time and I think that uh, 433 did a good job with the models for the uh, Kraken and uh, let me know guys where you guys uh, use her um, and uh, which type you prefer, uh, what you guys think is the best type. For me, I would probably build the dark one, then the light one, 
followed by either the fire or water one and then the wood one last. Um, I would say definitely guys prioritize the dark one first uh, and the water one I guess if you're a new player and you really need some uh, sap damage for superstar stone as well as the uh, golems dungeons. And um, that's it for me guys. I will catch you guys on the next uh, video. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys have any suggestions or any other Astromon uh, re review requests. Um, and I will see you guys next.